you're facing with right now. You know that top one there, it's spinning a little bit, but it's been locked. I lock it down because I'm hearing some noise in it and must be coming from the bearing. I'm gonna probably this weekend take it down and replace the bearing. But this one, the bearing has been replaced and look at it, working like a charm. Squeaking like a rat. Heavy wind, lots of wind, lots of dust. Still feeling good around here.
it's getting heavier. It's getting heavier. Stronger. Stronger. I think it's getting real stronger than before. This is the strongest I've seen it. Look at it around it. That's a goss. That's a real strong goss there. I think that wind drive this turbine to the max. And the wind is coming from the northeast right now. So far nothing blown down around the place, nothing been down, not even a big tree. Um, so it's just some steady dust for the past six hours I think. Um, midnight last night was crazy. It's almost 7 a.m. in the morning and it's still behaving crazy. Not much has been ripped to pieces at all. Big 
bus coming up now. I think that stuff is going to disintegrate. Something is going to give way now. Something is going to definitely give way now. <laughs> oh boy. Crazy this morning. I think that's the the closest it's been to us so far. Don't know if he's gonna get any closer than this. Sound like an airplane. Sucker sounds like an airplane. Oh boy. Pretend the cheese now, yeah. We're getting some wind here, man. Any heavier than this? Oh boy, I tell you. Shit like you want to take off. Take a right off from here and go somewhere, I don't know. Oh, my neighborhood, look at this. Oh, 
on here. The wind is crazy on this side. Look at that. Here, man. Don't even know how to explain this kind of tropical storm when you're in this. There's no explanation. If you can see like now, in the course of the day, you're just looking for things to fall to pieces and what else can it take? What else can it take to tumble these stuff down? I must tell you, we have um, reinforced the building codes on the roof since 1995 after Hurricane Lewis. Instead of using clout nail, we use what screws and screw all the galvanized down. And I think we're paying off right now. I haven't seen or heard anything tearing to pieces right now. You almost can see the wind. You can almost see the wind, man. This turbine spinning tell you exactly how much that force is. There was hardly any rain there a while ago. Now it looks as if we're gonna have a little shower in between here. Okay, it's cooling down, cooling down a little bit. <laughs> must be the, must be the eye passing, it's cooling down a bit. dog out here. Okay, I'll get back inside. Okay, the worst that happened to the turbine up top, I can see the blade start to disintegrate. 
like it's breaking off or the bearing something is going really wrong with that and I oh yeah oh yeah it has got even worse yeah that blade up there is um yeah I can see part of it that break off yes it was known to be pointed out on Saturday that there was a crack in one of the blade exactly about there I can see see it start to break off right there okay I can see that so I know okay it's not doing much now because the blade turned the other okay so that will slow it down completely so I'm gonna have to get blade gonna have to get blade for sure I think that blade is gonna just tear right off Other than that, this one at the bottom is doing all the work. But it stand up. Is it getting closer to us? I think so. It has gotten worse. It has gotten worse right now. The wind has picked up. I hope this is the last session of it. Yeah. So one blade, one blade in that one. Let's peel it off. Right in the middle there, right by the hub. That blade is peeling off. It's tearing right there. It'll tear the tear right off. And I hope, I hope the bearing survive in this one. Oh, no. I'm hearing a play like old time. You tell me, it sounds like the bearing in this one. May even shorter. Oh, I don't know which which one that vibration is coming from <clears throat> mm. These blades are staying up, but that loose, that loose knife there, like a, I did the play there. Sounds like. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like bearing there. That sounds like bearing.
So this is the worst of it. This is the worst of experience. I think those bearings that we installed there on Saturday might just be cranking out. The one in front. The one in front sound like when it's sound like old time with that bearing problem. Ah yeah. You can see the blade begin to tear right in the middle there, right by the hub. Okay, right there. Okay, so finally, finally that blade, that blade disappeared somewhere. I don't know where it went to, but it just torn right off. So that's the worst of damage. And I do believe that I have to change the the bearing in that one and also get some new blades um, Saturday when the rigger went up there he pointed to me he pointed out to me that um, two of the blades had cracks in them exactly that same area there where it started to peel off from and um, you know we changed this bearing here also on Saturday and that noise I'm hearing I think that's the bearing again so I'm gonna have to get four bearings to replace all them and um, get blades for that one I think that's the worst it's gonna be for now and um, it was a pretty nasty storm I think this one was worse than um, Irma, Maria is worse than Irma from this point of view, although um, <clears throat> with Maria the wind was from the, the north and Irma the wind was from the south. Maria, that hurricane, was south of us and the wind blew from the north. Irma, which was not of us, the wind blew from the south. How do you explain that? That's what I observe right here. 
That's why I observe from those um, <coughs> the direction of the the turbine because they also act as a, a, a wind direction finder anyway. Okay, so that's how she's looking up there for now. That's how she's looking up there. And it's really quiet down right now after these two turbines sounds like a freight train for the whole night, the whole morning. And um, I don't mind because this one is powering the battery bank. So I have electricity. I have electricity. No internet, no TV. But the fridge is working and transistor radio we can hear a few stations so we didn't fear off pretty bad and not much of any cheese around to um, clean up right now not much of any cheese to clean up nothing much fell down around here yeah. Sometime I believe these trees develop some resistance with these hurricanes in this region because they get battered so often that they had to grow a little more strength. So that's my final verdict right now for the day. Um, it can only get better. These storms are crazy not really good to experience these if you can avoid being in these storms here stay to hell out I've seen many many storms back in 1979 Hurricane David in 1980 I believe it was Hurricane Frederick and in 1995 Lewis and then George is in 98 which take, took my house off, off. Empty your pocket when these things happen, you're empty. You dry up, dry up all your finance. You lose everything. Can only save a little bit. And now, you just have to hope and pray that you pull through these stuff safely. They're wicked storm. A wicked hurricane rather. They don't spare anything. So, I didn't feel off too bad anyway. So I'll keep you posted. I have some repair to do, I have some ordering to do, I have to order, order some new blades. And um, I'm just trying to compare now these blades here and those that I had there. Those were aluminum, I believe. These were fiberglass. Which is better? Which stand up better in the hurricane? Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! There's still some strong winds! Still some extremely strong winds! Okay, well... I said enough for now, so... Neighborhood's still in talk. Neighborhood still intact. No big cheese, nothing pushed down. Yeah, everything's still intact. No roof spill off, nothing to complain about. Yeah, everything's still intact. Happy with that. 